Medical Model, Wikipedia Article Audio Medical model is the term coined by psychiatrist R. D. Lang in his The Politics of the Family and Other Essays, for the set of procedures in which all doctors are trained. It includes complaint, history, physical examination, ancillary tests if needed, diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis with and without treatment. Other Uses in psychology, germ theory of disease, concept of disease and injury, importance of diagnosis, other important aspects. The medical model has proven highly successful and even indispensable in many contexts, it is difficult to name a plausible alternative to medical diagnosis and treatment for a depressed skull fracture. The medical model embodies basic assumptions about medicine that drive research and theorizing about physical or psychological difficulties on a basis of causation and remediation. It can be contrasted with other models that make different basic assumptions. Examples include holistic model of the alternative health movement and the social model of the disability rights movement as well as to biopsychosocial and recovery models of mental disorders. For example, Gregory Battison's double-bind theory of schizophrenia focuses on environmental rather than medical causes. The medical model and these alternative models do not have to be mutually exclusive. A model is not a statement of absolute reality or a belief system but a tool for helping patients. Thus, utility is the main criterion, and the utility of a model depends on context. Medical model is a term in psychology, indicating the assumption that abnormal behavior is the result of physical problems and should be treated medically. Sometimes, that is clearly true, as with traumatic brain injury. In other cases, there has always been doubt about the medical model. In 1927, Sigmund Freud observed, psychoanalysis falls under the head of psychology, not of medical psychology in the old sense, nor of psychology of morbid processes, but simply of psychology. Among critics of medical psychiatry, Lang observed that because the diagnosis of a mental illness was based on conduct or patient behavior, not on physical pathology, such a diagnosis essentially contravenes standard medical procedure and so is not truly within the medical model. Physical examination and ancillary tests were conducted, if at all, only after the diagnosis was made. Heart diseases, cancers, and broken bones were diagnosed by evident physical pathology discovered during examination and ancillary tests, but a mental illness was diagnosed by examining the patient's behavior rather than physical signs or symptoms. The rise of modern scientific medicine during the 19th century has a great impact on the development of the medical model. Especially important was the development of the germ theory of disease by European medical researchers such as Louis Pasteur and Robert Cook. During the late 19th and the early 20th centuries, the physical causes of a variety of diseases were uncovered, which, in turn, led to the development of effective forms of treatment. The concepts of disease and injury are central to the medical model. In general, disease or injury refer to some deviation from normal body functioning that has undesirable consequences for the affected individual. An important aspect of the medical model is that it regards signs and symptoms as indicative of an underlying physical abnormality within the individual. According to the medical model, medical treatment, wherever possible, should be directed at the underlying pathology in an attempt to correct the abnormality and cure the disease. In regard to many mental illnesses, for example, 
the assumption is that the cause of the disorder lies in abnormalities within the affected individual's brain. That carries the implicit conclusion that disordered behaviors are not learned but are spontaneously generated by the disordered brain. According to the medical model, for treatment, to be effective, it should be directed as closely as possible at correcting the theorized chemical imbalance in the mentally ill person's brain. Proper diagnosis is essential to the medical model. Placing the patient's signs and symptoms into the correct diagnostic category can. For example, if a patient presents to a primary care provider with symptoms of a given illness, by taking a thorough history, performing assessments, and, in some cases, ordering diagnostic tests the primary care provider can make a reasonable conclusion about the cause of the symptoms. Based on clinical experience and available evidence, the healthcare professional can identify treatment options that are likely to be successful. Finally, adherence to the medical model has a number of other consequences for the patient and society as a whole, both positive and negative.